Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of J GMS, peace and blessings to the whole four members of the elect. My name is Kanawak from GMS Toronto. This is a lesson in regards to um, King Solomon and uh, um, like Haram, like um, um, like Haram and Biff, right? The king of the like of the tyrants, right? And the people that was living in the Phoenicians during that time and um, the Hamites you know who was uh living in the land you know and um you know king david and king solomon had a they used them you know as um uh, you know that to obtain and get certain uh material and uh, we're gonna go into that um let's see where the spirit's gonna lead uh have certain notes uh, written down so uh hopefully this is just gonna be like uh uh half an hour to an hour so let's see how it's gonna go let's see how how it's gonna go all right i'm gonna go on this this uh reference this book written by ivan serdama hold on one second This book is very good. Um, bought this book like you know, like 2009, 2010. Um, very good. This is gonna be our reference source. You know, you can see that uh, the Olmec head, you know, where the Phoenicians who was living or who came to the America. Let's see. Uh, Like, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So long. The phone. Mm -hmm. Second, give me uh, Tarshish. Second, give me a second. Yes, yeah, first kings, yeah. Let's get that first kings twenty six. And uh, First Kings 9 and verse 26 and King Solomon made a navy of ships in Ensign Burr, which is beside Elif on the shore of the Red Sea in the land of Edom, right? So in that in that region, you know, by the Red Sea, and also they had another port, you know, right? Uh, you know, in um. You know, like you know, by um, you know, like the land of Tyre, right? Which the the Hamar the Hamar to uh, in was inhabiting our land, right? But um, you know, like that's why King David, you know, he fought many wars, you know, against uh, you know, the Hamites and uh, you 
you know the Moabites, Ammonites, you know, because uh, you know because they all were living in that region, or the land of Moab, land of uh, Edom, you know, uh, Ammon, you know. So we were uh, we we're always, you know, King David, you know, he was always. Uh, you know at war you know so uh when after king so after king david died you know solomon ascended the throne and then we had the 40 years of peace right the wisest wisest man wisest king you know of all the earth all right so let's go uh first kings 9 verse 27 haram sent in the navies his servants shipmen that had knowledge of the sea with his servants with his servant with the servants of solomon right so um you know so you know um our people you know like would come over you know to the new world you know um you know through all the um, central america south america north america you know and get certain type of wood material uh precious resources you know and um so it was basically it took them like a year and a half and uh you know and they would get a lot of resources and whatever and they would go back to the land you know of israel you know when king solomon was on the throne and they came to offer and fetch from them to gold i believe i believe that offer would be in um basically in the, in the region of arabia if I'm not uh, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it says uh, our par apawar, all right. Uh, it's a reducing to ashes. It says uh, B, a land or city in the southern Arabian, in uh, Solomon's trade route, where gold eventually was traded for goods right and that's exactly what we're going to be doing you know in our uh you know that when yahweh comes right we know uh you know the wisest king you know of all the earth you know was solomon right so we know that you know when the lord he, he would die on the, when he was on the when he was uh you know came back you know as uh yahweh shai mashiach all right the anointed you know uh he was uh going through you know hell because of things what he had he done in his past life right and uh ultimately he was our sacrifice so that we could obtain the kingdom right it says the characteristics of fine gold fine gold right all right i'm gonna highlight this pretty much the same thing um, and I also gonna have uh, I'm gonna have this as my reference all right the Josephus no which uh, it's gonna talk about Harem Abif or um, you know King David you know King Solomon and uh, he was a uh, he was a historian all right and he was of the house of uh, the, uh he was of the kingdom of judah all right because uh during 70 a.d you know a lot of our people f left you know some of them you know went to rome and certain parts of europe and others went you know to africa north africa you know and eventually going to west africa all right you know and you go into that as well this is the uh no this is a very good book you know um you know this is why the the apostles they uh they always were uh you know even when uh apostle tahar you know apostle gabar apostle ramla apostle Raka, and all of them you know they were uh 
you know, like, you know, like when they would go to the in classes, you know, at the school over there on uh, in Harlem, you know, which was, uh, set, you know, which was ran by, uh, you know, uh, King Masha, um, you know, um, you know, High Priest Arya, you know, Elder Yaikwab, um, as well as, uh, you know, um, the Abba Bivens, you know, and, uh, like, that's what we have, uh, like, we did, right? So, uh, we're doing the same thing, right? And, uh, this is very good because, um, uh, eventually, like, you won't be able to, uh, you know, it's better to ha it's better to have certain books in person because uh, you know when uh, all hell's gonna break loose or whatever. It's good to have a hard copy, you know. But uh, you know, you know, but there are PDFs, you know, that uh, which is good. So uh, let's go. Uh, you Lucky, I have my notes. What was I gonna do? Yes. So this is this this book is written by. Uh, this is called. It says they came before Columbus, the African presence in ancient Americas, written by Ivan Serdam. All right, which he was a historian. All right, and I believe he's uh, from Guyana, and he's very uh, knowledgeable. This is a very good book too, uh, African Presence in Early Europe by Ivan Sernema, very good book. And also The Golden Age of the Moor, written by Ivan Sernema, very good books. You know, you could buy them at PDFs, but it's better to to uh, buy them used, you know, and uh, have it in, uh, you know, have it because it's uh, very uh good but it says they came before columbus so uh like this is uh the book it says they came before columbus so the african presence in in ancient america by ivan sardamon this is gonna be uh one second it says uh page 30 says uh, he seems them in ancient America simply as a mercenary soldier of the Phoenician right because uh, you know when you know King uh, David you know he they you know like they had a, a, a pack you know um, and they uh, and they were um, you know like the Phoenicians was under the feet of King David you know, and as well as Solomon, right? And, uh, you know, and uh, this is gonna be another, uh, this is gonna be page 32. It says, uh, one of these women, it's a page, no, page 31. It says, uh, one of these women from the early pre, the classical period, bears a striking resemblance to an ebony head of the Egyptian queen right? right because the Egyptians you know were the hammerts right it says uh queen Thai right it says the it says the Nigro no like it says the Negro mother of uh of Tukan man Right, it says um, that's a whole different thing, right? But it says it said this racial type Negro Egyptian with uh, all that precious coffee. Uh, it says facial um, that geography. It says uh, express appeal appears in, in in a Mexican heartland around the 18th to the 17th BC. All right, because uh, you know, during the time of King David, you know, and King Solomon, you know, that uh, basically, uh, you know, like, you know, like we were doing trade, you know, and um, you know, the Hamites was, you know, they're coming to the Americas, 
like they will be known as the Olmec and we're going to use certain points Olmec the Olmec heads you know this is a whole different sort you know because they were going back and forth they have a whole different look and shit man So, um, and these are things that, uh, you know, like, you know, like he, he doesn't want our people to uh, know certain things, you know. So, this is going to be uh, page 34. So, I can get some water. So, I can. Okay. Page, um, it says page page 34 it says the Pekka skull it says resembled most closely crannin of Negro groups um, coming from those parts of Africa where Negroes commonly have some that perceptible Inclusion of Hamitic blood, right? You know, the Hamites, you know, the Shemites, the sons of Jacob, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, they have, you know, like they have a whole different, even though they're dark skin, you know, like they have, you know, uh, like they have a whole different spirit, a whole different blood, all right? Because uh, even Shem, all right? A lot of you know like there are nations who come out of shem you know the um the moabite which would be in uh, you know like you uh chinese the ammonite would be like you uh you uh like you ammonite would be uh you damn japanese you know the arabians you know which would be in the sons of ishmael um and so on and so forth all right so um this is gonna be a page uh Page 35, Olmec Heart Slakia. It says, uh, such an, uh, such an, it says, such an accident which has, uh, happened in many documents, in, uh, in, instance, could accordingly to the uh, startling appearance of the Olmec heartland of negroids were elements of egyptian culture right? because they're the you know like they're the hamites right you know that we were in 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 servitude under the hamites you know for over 400 and year you know over 400 years or 430 years you know and that's why uh you know moses he uh you know he he freed our people you know under you know you know the lord he was doing a lot of miracles man you know um so let's look at the definition it says uh the donovan compact bible dictionary let's look at uh ham it says um ham said the youngest son of noah born probably about 96 years before the flood and one of eight persons to live through the flood he became the progenitor of the dark races all right so everyone was dark all right on this on this earth all right it says uh but the egyptians which have been the hamites and you know then it, and then it said the ethiopians the, the men, you know that the, um, um, like the Ethiopians would be the Kushites, the Libyans, all right, which are very dark. You know, which you know, they're in the time, and uh, they're the Hamite and the Canaanites. He, uh, his, his indecency when his father lay drunk brought up brought a curse upon Canaan all right because let's go uh, like let's get this scripture all right because the heavenly father you know or uh, Noah 
you know he uh he cursed uh you know, like he cursed Canaan right you know which is one of the sons of Ham right and uh it says uh a servant's a servant you know shall thou be right let's get that Look here. And uh, Genesis 9 verse 22 And Ham it said the father of Canaan Saw the nakedness of his father And told his two brothers without Right. So after the flood You know when You know the whole earth you know was you know pretty much like destroy the people you know the most i flooded the people you know because of their wickedness and this is what's gonna happen again all right this is gonna be not with uh with water this is gonna be with fire now man all right and uh and shem and japhet took took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backwards right so they you know so shem and japhet you know like they weren't looking at their father's nakedness you know but it shows you that the spirit of ham you know um if you watch that movie uh it's called mondo magic you know the things what they do man you know so uh you know these heathen are nasty man you know, and uh, you, you, like, those Hamites, man, they're, they're disgusting, man. That's what they, you know, like, that's what, like, they were doing. You know, what, uh, you know, what uh, Ham was doing, man. I went backward and covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. So why are you looking at your father like that? You're looking at your father's rod. You know, that that's wickedness, man. So it shows you, man, that, that that's why the most I after, you know, everyone went their ways, you know, after the flood, you know, and established themselves. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Curse be Canaan, a servant of servants shall that be unto his brethren, right? So that's why, you know, King David, you know, they you know, like he like he used like he used the um you know like the um haram, you know, which would mean like the king of Tyre, you know, and um, basically, you know, for certain resources, like let's get it. All right, this is going to be uh, that the Josephus, you know, this book is called, called the Josephus, The Complete Works by Nielsen uh, Value Series, right? You know, translated by William Winston, whatever, but it's written, it's basically uh, about Josephus, right? His accounts. So let's get a couple of pages. All right, this is uh, page 22. It says, when David had cast the Jebusites out of the citadel, he also rebuilt Jerusalem. All right, so we, you know, like, you know, King David, you know, he, like he was got, he, he got rid of those hammerings, man. All right. You know over that region all right and uh and named it and is the city of david so that after that you know that you know that fort you know was rebuilt harem also it said the king of the tyrants sent ambassadors to him and made a league and um, of multiple friendship and assistance with with him all right so they made a pact all right you know, even though king of the of, of the tyrants were Hamites, all right. You know, King David, he, he like he used them, all right, for trade and uh, resources and uh, peace. You know, it says um, it was David, therefore, who first cast out, 
who cast a jebusite out of Jerusalem and called it his own name, the city of David, for understanding our forefather Abraham, it is called Salem or Salim. All right, because you know, King Melchizedek, you know, you know, when uh, he basically, you know, like King David or uh, King Melchizedek, Slaka, after Abraham, you know, you know, Abraham, he like he gave, you know, his tenth. You know, unto um, you know, like King Melchizedek, which would mean the King of Righteousness. All right. Um. It says this is uh, same page uh, two twenty two. Now the whole time, it says like from the warfare under the like under Joshua. Our general against against the Canaanites, and from that war in which he over which he overcame them and distributed the land among the Hebrews. All right, so this has been uh, about Joshua. So uh, okay. very good. Uh, have some other points lock yeah Just. yeah this is gonna be page two page 20 20 250 page 2nd It says uh, page 256 uh, Solomon to King Harem Or King Harem or Abif right Know how Know thou that my father would have built a temple to Yahweh, right? Because, you know, like, you know, like King David, you know, he fought many wars, you know, against these heathen, man. You know, um, you know, um, you know, Ammonites, you know, the Moabites, you know, the Edomites, you know, the Canaanites. He was, he was always going to war, man. So the Lord. You know, he uses King Solomon, you know, which means, uh, you know, Shalom, you know, like Solomon just means peace, you know, like that's why we call it, you know, like when we say uh, peace, it means Shalom, all right. It says, uh, know, thou, know thou not my father would have built a temple to Yahweh, but was hindered by wars and like continually expeditions for he hit for he did not leave off the over overthrow his enemies till he made them like subjects to tribute all right so kings you know like king david was you know he, he like he was defeating these damn heathens man you know and uh you know and that's why um you know like kings you know like king david he was a man that feared the heavenly father right so this is going to be page uh page 22 all right look at the very bottom it says uh it is described here to be a like a remark to saul very rarely and david very frequently all right, because Saul, you know, he was a man that he didn't, you know, he didn't really like, you know, like he didn't rely on the father and faith, you know, you know, but King David, you know, you know, when he got the, you know, that when he got the throne, you know, and, um, you know, he was a man that feared God, you know, and uh, let's, uh, let, let, I'm going to read it. 
it says David very frequently like consulted by by the Urim and the Thurim. Alright, because the Urim and Thurim means uh light. The Urim it means light and then the um like Thurim it means perfection. Alright, so you know that would have been like you know like the you know like the crystal ball, you know, and and they were able to foretell the future. Alright, so uh you know, so like you know, like that's why that you know uh, like the Levites, which means join to me. La, you know that um that Levi or Laya, which means join to me, right? You know, so the Levites were very, you know, the sons of Aaron were very privy and close to the Most High, man. All right. Yeah, so this is going to be uh, page 256. Uh, Knowest thou that my father would have built a temple to Yahweh, but was hindered by war and continually expedition, for he did not leave of the overthrow his for he did not leave off to overthrow his enemies till he made them all subject to tribute man and that's why we're re rebuilding the house of david right now all right all right that's why we are rebuilding the house of david and that's why the lord when the lord comes yahweh shy you know he's gonna uh he's like he's gonna make these nations subject you know, unto his kingdom, unto his throne. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving the, right? That I will not only destroy the house of Jacob. So the, the Lord's going to only, um, he's only coming for his elect, right? The one third, right? And, um, and that's it. You're right. He's not gonna deal with you know like two thirds, you know, here in America, you know, and um, you know, and any uh, you know, and um, anywhere else are where people are scattered, you know, and uh, you uh, you know, you other nations, man, like especially you Edomites, you know, you're doing all these uh, P rings, you know, like the pet. Like I can't even say, it, but all these P rings, what they're doing, you know, all their uh, lies and deception, man. You know, that's why the Heavenly Father is gonna be. He, he's he, he, like he's already judging these damn uh, people on high, man. You know, and uh, ultimately, you know, that when the Lord comes, he's gonna destroy you, you like you devils and you two thirds, man. And na other nations for lo i will command and i will sift the house of israel among all nations like as corn is sifted in the sieve yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth so the lord's only dealing he's only he cares for this elect all right he's, he doesn't care about uh you know the, you go to matthew 13 the wheat and the tears all right the lord's only coming for the wheat all right the tears is going to be the ones who's going to be cast out you know all the sin of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up the ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. So when the Yahweh Shai, you know, or when King David, you know, is going to come back, you know, because King David is going to come back, you know, in his let in his stead. You know, and we believe that, uh, you know, the apostles, you know, like they believe, you know, that, you know, that, uh, you know, that, you know, that they know who King David is in the spirit because we have lived on this earth many times, all right, in our, in our, in our carnation, in our reincarnation, which means in the flesh, right? So, uh, the apostles. You know, like, you know, like from the school back in the 80s and 90s, 
they believe that you know like they know who king david is in the spirit all right so uh there is you know like king david you know whether he's in he's out he, he's six feet under he's gonna come back you know in his flesh in the latter days and he you know and uh you know like when the lord comes all right because there's you know there's gonna be a lot of you know judgment and destruction on this place man that day will i it said that day it's locking that they may possess like the remnant of edom and all the heathen right so we're gonna like the land of edom you know where we inhabit you know we're driven uh petra now or mount petra or the land of the edomites you know like you know like we're gonna possess that land all right because um you know like petra now is called uh west bank no not west bank yeah i think it's uh, like west bank you know like that was let's see i just wanna or jordan i think they call it, yeah that's jordan west bank No, I think that's Jordan. No, it's Lakia, Jordan. So Lakia, Jordan. See Petra. So I was like, it's like, this is how these Edomites were living in the cave. But eventually, I believe um, Ishmael, you know, started to like erect certain things, you know. But this is how Esau was living, man. You know, you watch that. Uh, you watch this show. Uh, I always liked this show, man. Like when I was young, um, you know, like the, you know, like the Fred Flintstones. I think they made like a movie, right? Back in the 90s, right? Like Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone. You know, like, and they had the cartoon too. Uh, so when I, you know, like when I would watch it in the in the morning as a kid, when I was a youth, it was uh, good, man. You know, like those were old shows from back in the day, man. I, I used to watch that. You know, but uh, I like this one too, man. Fred Flintstone movie in the nineteen in the in the nineties. Yeah, this was the one I used to watch. You know, like, like you know, like this was E, man. You know, King David, Joab, you know, and the mighty men. You know, like they were mushing up the Edomites, man. And that's what's gonna happen again, man. Yeah, Fred Flintstone. Hold on, I'm gonna just play. This is for educational purposes, okay? You are about to embark on an extraordinary journey. A voyage to the very dawn of civilization. To a place called... society as we know it was born. It was home to modern Stone Age man. Home to the Flintstones. This summer, from Universal Pictures and Amblin Entertainment. Yeah, yeah man, it's like, you know, like, that's, that was Esau, man. You know, you know, uh, like when he was living in the land of Israel, man. 
you know, or you know, or not Israel in Edom, the land of Edom, you know. So we're gonna possess that land. All right. So um, this is after Josephus, page uh, two hundred fifty-six. It says, um, "But I give thanks to Yahweh for the peace I and." And I at the present I present enjoy and that and that um, account I am at leisure and design to build a house to Yahweh for for Yahweh or God and thy forever that to make my father to such a house should be built by me. Wherefore I des I desire the to send some of my of my of thy subjects with mine like to mount lebanon all right lebanon all right which you know uh, like lebanon is a beautiful place right but now the, the like the the damn ishmaelites is living up there it says it says to cut down timber and and for the sidonians are more skillful than our people in cutting of wood right so you know so they are very skilled you know of cutting wood you know you know some big wood man you know up in the mountains there as for wages like to the hebrews of wood i will pay whatsoever price thou shalt determine all right um this is a very good uh good book uh, first Kings it's lucky I'm going to close after this first Kings 5 and 1 and King and it's lucky and and um, and Haram king of, of Tyre sent his servant unto Solomon for he have heard that they may anoint him king in the room of his father for Haram was ever a lover of David right so you know he respected David you know and like you know and like that's why they made that pact all right this is a very good uh good chapter you know first kings uh five verse one to 18 i'm not gonna go i'm gonna basically uh no or let's go let's read it and solomon sent to harem saying thou knowest how that david my father could not build an house unto the name of the lord his power for he it says for the words which were about him on every side until the lord put them under the soles of of his feet right so you know king david he made these nations subject in the, those regions man all right the moabites the ammonites yeah you have in those you know you hamites um you see right now it's like a bunch of war you know king david you know you know and uh you know and and the, and the heavenly father was with him all right it says uh but now it said the lord my power have given me rest on every side so that there is neither adversaries nor evil um account and behold i propose to build an house unto the name of the lord my power and the lord spake unto david my father saying it says that thy sons whom I will set up the throne in the in thy room, he shall build an house unto the name. So, you know, like you know, like King David, you know, he fought he was involved in so much wars and stuff that uh you know that you know uh, he wasn't able to uh you know like to build you know a house, you know, like to the Lord. So after his uh after his 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 dead after his death you know his son you know his son 
you know, Solomon, which means peace, you know, a throne, a throne, like a assemble the throne. Now they're like commanded thou that they uh, hew me cider trees of the Lebanon, and my servants shall be with, the, with thy servants. All right. So like, you know, like, uh, like this is basically like the treaty with uh, King David and Solomon. You know, um, you could read it. You know, the rest yourself. So with that, let us see our praises do unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. Shalom.